Last week on Windfall, we explored Florida's Forgotten Coast and saw all the stunk, sunken sailboats that goes with that. Sitting in Caravel for two weeks has definitely made me more nervous for our 125 nautical mile crossing across the panhandle of Florida. We were supposed to have left by now. We arrived on Thanksgiving and everything was going wonderfully. We have just haven't had the right weather. We've had storm after storm, after high winds, after tornado warning, and we've been stuck here for about a week and a half now. I'm definitely getting ready to leave. The two weeks have been spent hanging out with friends, meeting new people, talking to sailors about the weather, meeting new loopers that are also waiting to do the crossing, as well as lots of other things. Definitely lots of editing has been, been done. We were all getting a little bored, a little bit on each other's nerves, and definitely a little bit anxious for the crossing. So we finally had a chance to go. The weather window looked good for about 20 hours. The winds were supposed to pick up. We knew it probably would take us about 26 hours to make the crossing, but we decided to take off anyway and uh, hope for the best. All right, since we're stuck in Caravel for a week waiting on a weather window, actually almost two weeks now, uh, we decided to treat ourselves to some pizza and beer, which we don't do very often, so it feels pretty good. No, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we left our dinghy tied up in the back, and because of the tide, it was underwater this morning. So Ryan and Dad are taking turns bailing it out. We finally got the motor off of it, although it went uh, totally underwater, so we're hoping it works even. Could be broken, we're not sure yet. So they are bailing the dinghy out. I have winched it up from the bottom. It just kind of, the motor got stuck on a rock and it had like tipped over with the tide and then filled with water. So, good lesson for us. Always tie the dinghy up in the front with the tides. What do you think you're doing over there, kitty? Huh? That's not your boat. You have a, you have a huge bad habit of laying in other people's boats, kitty. That's not your boat. 
What do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, brother. Hello, everybody. I'm just sitting here in Carabelle um, at the Sea Quarters Marina. We're waiting for our laundry to get done. And uh, we've been here since Thanksgiving. It's now December 6th. So, um, been here for about two weeks now, and we are finally leaving tonight. Pretty exciting. It's blowing pretty hard uh, west wind right now, but it's supposed to calm down tonight and tomorrow. So we're finally doing our overnight sail and heading to um, Crystal River is where I think we're going to head to, which is about 160 nautical miles. And um, we'll make it there in about... <laughs> 23 or 24 hours so it'll be a, a long day that's for sure but uh, we're gonna leave sometime in the middle of the night tonight and we'll get there hopefully in the middle of the night Wednesday night or possibly Thursday morning when the sun comes up that might be a, an even better option we might kind of try to go slow so we can get there when the sun comes up on Thursday we're all very anxious yep. excited anxious nervous. little little nervous it's our first um, big 24 hour sale so it'll be uh, really exciting we're ready to get going since we've been here for two weeks now Excited. A little nervous, but excited. Our dinghy, as you guys know, sunk twice while we were here. And um, now we have a blown head gasket, so we need to get that fixed. We're going to have to row our dinghy wherever we want to go. Um, Dad's actually trying to get another oar right now because we only have one oar because we lost one when it sunk. So we're trying to get another oar, so we're going to row wherever we need to go for now so we can order that part, hopefully in Crystal River, and fix that. If it's not one thing, it's ten, right? So there's always something we gotta fix. Oh, always something we gotta fix. Always something. But we're just chilling out, getting laundry done, and then we'll be taking off tonight. It'll be our first overnight sail, and we're really excited. We're nervous, but we're excited. So that'll be good. That's all. Yeah, pretty great. Have fun. You and Kitty. What are you doing right here, huh? You just chilling? Little baby. Good boy. Good boy. Relaxing in our room, waiting to head out for our 116 nautical mile sail over to Clearwater or Crystal Water. Pretty excited. A little nervous, but we're all gonna take a little nap and then get up and I think we'll only have like 10 knots or less of wind, so we're gonna probably be motor sailing the whole time. But that's okay, we just wanna get out of Carabelle, so we'll be leaving soon. The biggest sail of my life. Our first overnighter. We were all a little bit anxious, a little excited, and a little nervous, but ready overall to leave Carabelle. So we took off with high hopes for our crossing. What are your thoughts? Are you excited we're about to leave? Yeah, I'm excited that we're leaving. It's been a long two weeks in Carabel, hey? Yeah. Felt like two months. <laughs> I'm excited we're leaving. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for an overnight sail because we've never done this before, but I'm also really excited. It seems like it's going to be pretty calm, so that'll be good. Um, so yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I'm uh, ready to go, that's for sure. I'm ready to get there. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the sunset. Oh yeah, it's gonna get dark soon. That sunset looks pretty nice though. Yeah, we gotta get out there. If we're gonna get out there, it's getting dark. We're ready to go. Almost. Game time, Kitty, what do you think? It's game time, guys. What do you think? Are you nervous? Excited? Yeah, a little both. 
Yeah, me too. Yeah, excited and nervous. It'll be calm. Tomorrow will be beautiful, I think. Oh, I think so. Bye, Carabelle. It was nice knowing you. We're not coming back. <laughs> See you never. Here we go. Game time. Oh yeah, we're following our friend uh, Wade Boggs over here, like we did the the trip from uh, Destin to Panama City. So here we go. We're just gonna assess the situation, and we we might anchor for an hour or two and wait for it to calm down, or we might go. We're not sure yet. We just don't want to navigate the channel at night, so we're at least getting out there. Bye, Carabelle. Yeah, where's Fred? Bye, Carabelle. Join us next week on Windfall as we make our 125 nautical mile crossing. We encounter some uh, high wind weather, but it was a beautiful day overall. And we enjoy the beautiful sunset and our first overnight crossing. Thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to go over to Patreon and become a patron to help keep our video production free and alive. Thanks you, thank you so much. Cheers!